The Yamato Works Chan Key Setter and Chan Key Deleter are really cool plugins. These are the kind of tools that take something that you do all the time when animating and substantially improves upon it in every way possible. The plugins are meant to serve as a complete replacement for the create key and delete key functions of Lightwave, so I strongly recommend hotkeying these tools in place of the defaults. I'll go ahead and hit my enter key to bring up Key Setter. And initially, it is mostly the same as the normal Create Key dialog, save for a few new buttons that give you greater control over what to include or exclude. By clicking on this arrow, we're given access to stuff that's normally only changeable in the graph editor. Copying and pasting can be useful, as it happens relative to the options found up here, so you hit Copy, Cancel Out, Move the playhead and the paste function can be used. Keysetter also comes with its own undo system, so if you make a big change that you don't like, it is not a problem. It doesn't end there. This button up in the top left corner changes between six modes of operation. Let's explore some of these. Move will allow you to shove keyframes forward or backward in time. Set the range of keys that you would like to be affected by this change, enter in the offset, measured in frames, and hitting OK will make the change take effect. Scale works in the same way, except that instead of shoving keyframes around, we're altering how slow or fast the animation is. So if I enter in a multiplier of 2, it means that the animation will be twice as long. When retiming animations with keyframe scaling, do be aware that this could result in fractional keyframes, so keep that in mind. Copy makes duplicating keyframes easy. Again, set the keyframe range, and then enter in the frame that this block of keyframes should be copied to. The number field here denotes how many times it should paste the keyframes, very useful for when you want repeating animations. Bake can be useful in some cases, but you'll still need specialized tools to bake things like IK and such. That said, ChanKey Deleter and ChanKey Setter are technically the same plugin. The only reason they are split up into two separate menu buttons is so that you can get right to keyframe deletion or creation more conveniently. I cannot recommend these keyframing tools enough. If you do any animation in Lightwave, they will prove invaluable to your workflow.